Okay, uh, welcome back. You're joining us for part two of uh, Endgame Studios vs. Desura. And we are seeing a big force here pushing their way up to the north west. <laughs> why, why can't we do that, west? That is the right direction. Well, it is north and it is west. It is both. Northwest corner. Top left. Top left in my brain. It says top left, but top left makes more sense, probably. I mean, maybe north is not straight <laughs> up. Maybe it's somewhere else. A anyway, we'll get back to that later. In the meantime, we've got Henley's force moving down, doing a lot of damage on Fresnet's expansion. expansion. This expansion is going to go down, and that's going to. Yep, that's really, really going to do a lot of uh, damage. To that is some. Uh, Hydra's coming out, but they're all dead now. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, though, we can see... Um, Henley trying to move up to the main, yeah, but there are tanks, uh, well, the one tank there, just securing that position and allowing Bridler's army enough time to come back down from that top expansion and clean up uh, Henley's army there. Mm. So, uh, Fresnad losing an expansion back to one base, um, but they did manage to at least kill the, uh, the hidden expansion of Lodal. So that's pretty much put them at an even base count. Oh, no, actually, they're one base yeah, behind Fresnet at the moment. is one down at the moment, although he has just expanded here, but that is not uh, up and running as of yet. Uh, we might be seeing a Viking war here between Gridler and Lodal. Both Vikings were floating around. There we go, there's the other Viking landing. Uh, Gridler does have the Viking advantage, though, so I would expect to see him come up over the top of... Uh, Lodal. Although Lodal does have the upgrades going on those Vikings, they are now dead, but it looked like they had uh, one, two upgrades. So the upgrade advantage going to Lodal, but uh, his upgrades still couldn't keep up with the sheer number of Vikings that Gridler has. We're seeing a couple of Hydras uh, wandering around the top of the map there from Fresnet, as well as a second expansion. That's right. So re establishing his initial expansion, as well as the one on the west side. So, west side is the best side. <laughs> West side is the best side. <laughs> Tells the best stories. In the meantime, we've got a huge force of Banshees now pushing in, doing a lot of damage on the mineral line there. Although we do see Vikings coming in now trying to mop those things up, and if the Viking support has abandoned them, then it's very difficult to stay <laughs> in there. Banshees are going to have to retreat. So Fresnan there also pushing up the front, but once again, those siege tanks on the ramp make it extremely hard for either of these two teams to, to you know, properly engage with the, the base of the other player. So it's all sort of small skirmishes on the map at the moment. And I think all these players are sort of thinking, well, I can't crack this on the ground. I'm going to get massacred if I try. So the next logical step then is to go to things like Banshees, Vikings, yep. um, air units like Mutalisk, and we're seeing that with Fresnad. And so uh, it's, I think really what's going to decide this in the end is um, who can gain air superiority on this map, who can control the map. But we're seeing battle cruisers now as well from um, Lodal. So Lodal's having the same idea, I guess, as uh, Gridler. We saw Gridler before with all the Vikings and Banshees. So Gridler and Lodal both knowing that it's going to come down to an air battle. Um, so being both you know, sort of struggling for that air dominance. Riddler, though, does have the, uh, the Viking advantage, number advantage, yet again. So it's going to be interesting to see what this engagement, what happens at this engagement. So we do see those Thors, so we need to be really careful Ooh, about those Vikings. Huge Thor engagement there, losing a lot of, I mean, a lot of Vikings on both That's sides. Right. Riddler losing all of his Vikings. Now pushing up with the main army. Uh, there's still tanks and bunkers in the road, so... If Riddler's army and uh, Fresnet both losing their army oh. running into that wall, just into a big meat grinder, essentially. So we'll be interested in seeing if Destura decides to push out at this point, uh, or whether we may be seeing some drops, or what they decide to do. Um, this game has been going now for a while, so it is worth pointing out that resources are starting to become very thin. Henley here essentially on one mineral patch, uh, and Lodal on a few more. But there we go, mined out in the main, including the gas. Uh, we do have a few minerals left for Gridler's base, but once again, mined out. So resources are starting to become a bit thin on the ground for these teams. They both really need to expand. Fresnad looks like he's in the best position in terms of minerals, even though he is about to get an expansion <laughs> smashed, unfortunately. But he has his two other bases on the west side, which I don't think... Oh, 
Desura might now know about those. I think, I think a do. scan just went down, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, from these, Fresnet. Yeah, these bases from Fresnet now under pressure as well. Uh, we do have a group of units here who might be able to help out. Uh, those Vikings should be able to make short work on that battle cruiser, and there's also roaches on the ground for those Marines. So. Uh, once they come in, there we go. So this expansion, living to see another day for Fresned. But we do have another push yet again coming out for Henley. So are they pushing? Or no, they are going to start working down these blocks of gold expansion because Henley is essentially, and right now, completely mined out in the main. So he's going to probably want to float a command center down here mm -hmm. and uh, move his SCBs down to continue mining. We also have Lodl with the same idea, although uh, deciding to use his SCVs rather than uh, the Thors, Marines, and Marauders to break down those rocks. So their little uh, pitchfork gatherer drill tools not going to take those rocks down quite as fast as the uh, the army. And that's the moral of the day: if you want to get rid of rocks, don't drill them. Just shoot, shoot them. them with big guns. <laughs> Got much more problems. effective. Shoot them. That's right. And here we see Henley attacking into the ramp of Gridlock. Did I just see a bunch of a bunch of mules running into the base? You, you very well may have. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going very fast. I don't know. I'm going to say you did. In the meantime, though, we've got Henley who's established his gold expansion, which is very, very important to hang on to, although we're seeing a lot of pressure from Gridler here. And he's going to have to retreat because yeah. those Marines and Marauders have stepped in to try and save that expansion. Riddler has been able with these uh, three starports to maintain this air dominance, which is really, uh, really helping out his team. Lodal does have the upgrade advantage, as we said before, and is getting those battle cruisers. But with all these Vikings, Riddler is able to successfully shut down the air battle and uh, keep the air to themselves. And looks like um, Henley and Lodal are pretty low on resources at this point. There is that gold expansion up, although. Or Lodal, he's this one's still, still taking quite a bit of time. Rocks. Yeah, this one has ooh, still a little bit of resources left, but not very much. That will not last for long at all. So it's, it's really important for Lodal to get this gold base up, especially because Gridler has his up and running, and uh, Fresnet does have this expansion as well as this one running. And now we are seeing uh, a few Broodlords being um, morphed in here. Um, ooh, although we're going to have to be careful with those, those Vikings. Vikings and Thors on the ground. If they can distract fire away, then those Broodlords can do a lot of damage to that line, but they're going to have to be careful. Like this push was almost enough to break through that front wall, however, still not quite enough to break through the wall of Endgame. So Destura losing a lot of units there and leaving uh, Gridler free to start harassing Henley's expansion. Uh, we do also see that Fresnet has taken yet another expansion and Lodal is finally able to get this command center up and running. So now I think we're going to see those Broodlords start to push in on this gold side and attack the sides of this base. And that's going to be quite difficult if you've got no air superiority here to repel, although Henley is doing his best to do that. Uh, although we're seeing lots of uh, lots of units being lost there from yeah. Broodlords. They're way, way out of range. Broodlord they have a massive range. Sitting in this, this nice uh, little cavern, I guess, that's... Impossible for those land units to shoot this far up, but uh, using his range advantage to, to clear those units away. Uh, and that was a scan we just saw, so it looks like Gridler has scanned this expansion uh, and is now amassing his force to take it out. Uh, this will leave Lodal in a world of trouble with only a handful of minerals left in mine. Uh, and we do see Gridler now moving in with this army. Uh, a small force from Lodal trying to come in, but those group of marines are not going to be enough to deal with this large force. And that expansion has gone down for Lodal. So now we see uh, Henley trying to rebuild his gold base yet again, but I'm thinking things are not looking good for Desura. Endgame have managed to maintain map control and uh, keep their expansion ahead of Desura. So many Broodlords now as well, and Corruptors protecting them. So they're going to find, even if they do have Vikings on the field now, those Corruptors are going to be able to do a big chunk of damage to yes, them. Especially when Gridler's Vikings get in the mix. So now that it... Uh, Endgame have well and truly got air superiority. Oh, they are able to just control the air with these uh, Looks like Lodal has left the game there, so he's going to find Henley. Yeah, has also left the game as well. That is the game. So that was an epic back and forth. Um, both teams just really struggling to, to crack through each other's ramps. Um, when you've got turtling Terrans, it's just always hard to 
to, to break through their lines. So. And in the end, it really came down to an economic battle, and uh, whoever could get the most income and maintain that really came out the victor. So Endgame Studios won that one. They and did. They won the series as well. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter at, at PlayWellCup and check out the website as well at playwellcup.com.au. And uh, we'll see you next time.